Hey everybody, it's Karis, and welcome back to my channel again, and I'm still talking about miniature horses. If you guys haven't already noticed, I have made several videos now where I've been talking about minis, but the last video that I wanted to make is just quickly talking about uh, some tips and pointers on how you should feed your miniature horse, because I think this is one of the most crucial elements of owning a miniature horse is knowing how to feed it properly because miniature horses need very different dietary requirements than big horses do and there's some really really important things that you guys should pay attention to if you're planning to own a miniature. First, if you have watched my other videos you probably know a lot of this, but first is to avoid lush green pasture. Lush green pasture is going to make your miniature horse really fat really fast. And, you know, we all want to turn our horses out for at least part of the day, and I do with Scotty, but you probably don't want to leave your horse out on green pasture 24-7. That's probably going to be really actually bad for their health. They'll get too fat, and that can cause them to get sick in a number of ways, particularly laminitis, which you guys really, really do not want to deal with at all. So with Scotty, I typically turn him out for 12 hours during the day, and then at night I have him up on a dry lot, and that seems to work pretty well for him, though he's probably a little rounder than I would want. Uh, so we might have to dial his pasture time back a little bit, which I know I hate to do because he has so much fun out there. But his dry lot still has a lot of space for him to move around in, so it's really important to watch your horse's weight on green pasture. Second is to avoid sugar and starch. Now this is two of the things that you actually find in green pasture is sugar and starch, but you can also find sugar and starch in a lot of other things, particularly like horse treats. If you like giving your horse treats, you should pay attention to see how much stuff like uh, molasses that they add to those treats and things like that. You can actually find several different brands of low sugar and starch horse treats that you can get for your horse. And so if you like to feed your mini treats, I definitely recommend that you particularly buy treats that advertise that they are very low in sugar and starch. That way you can feel a little bit better about what you are feeding your pony. This goes along the same lines as that one, is never feed your horse sweet feed. Even if it's a big horse, a little horse, maybe as a treat occasionally, but particularly with menis, you do not want to feed them sweet feed. It's in the name, it's sweet, there's a lot of molasses in there, there's a lot of sugar, and sugar will make your horse fat. And with miniatures, you've got to be really, really careful about that. So I would just recommend avoiding sweet feed at all costs. So instead of feeding sweet feed, I would recommend you feed like a forage based pellets. I like to feed alfalfa pellets or a particularly formula. <laughs> I can't talk today guys. This is really bad. A particularly formulated uh, miniature horse feed. They make them, they have all those extra nutrients that your mini is going to need, minerals and the like, and they're particularly low in sugar and starch, like I keep saying. So uh, I know Purina makes a really good brand of miniature horse feed that is particularly important for the little guys. Also, when you feed your horse like you would feed a big horse, you wanna make sure that they have plenty of fresh water available at all times. This is kind of obvious, but your horse needs to always be able to drink as often as they can because miniature horses are just as prone to stuff like colic as big horses are. So you always wanna make sure that they have a source of fresh water are available. And miniature horses benefit from supplements too. I give Scotty as well as Bucky a supplement that actually helps them process uh, sugar and starch. I know I'm a little obsessive about that, uh, but it helps them process it. It has stuff like magnesium, chromium, also biotin because biotin is really good for miniature horses' hooves and their mane and tail help uh, their hooves be really strong and their mane and tail grow really long and that kind of rhymed and that was a little weird. Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of supplements that are out on the market and uh, miniature horses can benefit from those too. And uh, finally, like I stated before, and I just want to uh, really pound this one home, is never overfeed your miniature horse. Always watch what they're eating and uh, really, really watch their weight and make sure they're not getting too fat. I mean, roly-poly ponies are cute, but it can really be bad for their health and you want to make sure that your pony is going to be safe and healthy and happy. So yeah, that is my uh, video. Just quickly talking about some pointers with what you should be looking into when you're going to feed your miniature horse. 
And I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the other videos that I posted about miniature horses. And uh, let me know your comments below and also let me know if you guys own minis and if you guys love miniatures too or if you're thinking about getting one. I would love to hear you guys' stories. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!